I'm Andy Fisher, WNEW News. At eight minutes past ten, time for the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a program of love and hate with Cicely Tyson as your hostess. Here's a preview. Listen, the hamster gestation period is only 16 days or so. Only 16 days? Mm -hmm. Each litter's between 8 and 11 babies. They're weaned in three weeks, can be taken from their mothers in five weeks, mature in six to eight weeks, and are ready to breed in 10 to 12 weeks. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Hello, I'm Stan Martin. It's sad that many youngsters feel the only way they can make their mark on our town is with a destructive act or a smear of graffiti. One building on New York's Lower East Side stands apart from the others. Its walls are spotless inside and out. The youngsters who work and play there have earned the respect of the entire city, just as they've learned to respect themselves. I'm talking about the Boys Brotherhood Republic. The BBR has been helping underprivileged boys work their way out of the slums for almost 50 years. By giving them the responsibility of governing and policing themselves, the BBR helps create a set of values which guide its members all their lives. I know because I was a member from the time I was six, and the BBR helped change my life. It's doing the same right now for hundreds of youngsters with no other place to turn but the streets. Help the BBR turn out solid citizens. Please send whatever financial support you can to the Boys Brotherhood Republic, 888 East 6th Street, New York, 10009. Thank you. Tell them plans are out anyway. Yeah, we'll back order his silly trousers. We get the peace goods on the, on the 4th, we finish them on the 15th, we ship them on the 15th. That means you receive shipment on the 18th. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's, a, that's a Sunday. Uh, uh, the 19th, at the absolute latest. <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry, thank you. Uh, no, nobody, no, nobody but nobody is showing cubs this year. They're a waste of good polyester, which, by the way, no one's buying either this year. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, baby, ciao. Boy, the, the things people expect from you these days. Here's that invoice, Mr. Stanley. Are you feeling all right? You're sweating. Uh, uh it's, it's heartburn or something. Uh, give me your salsa. I, I, I feel nauseous. It could be heartburn. It could be heart attack. Know the symptoms of heart attack. Contact your American Heart Association. We're fighting for your life. This is Cicely Tyson. There are billions of people on our planet Earth. That two people out of that many could find each other and fall in love is, as Louise Ledlow would say, a mathematical improbability. But she and her boyfriend, Curtis Cleaver, have beaten the odds. I love you, Louise. And I love you, Curtis. But... But? But we can't get married. Why not? Have you seen my bank balance lately? What balance? Exactly. I don't care, Curtis. I don't want a house. I don't even need an apartment. A vacant lot and a tent, a sleeping bag under the stars. Look, all I need is one terrific idea, then I'll be able to give you everything you've ever wanted. But all I want is you, Curtis. And you've been so distant lately, light years away from me. Are you angry with me? Oh, why would I be angry with the woman I love? Because I can't see your vision of great things to come. Because all I see is that I love you. Louise, out of the billions of people on Earth, somehow we found each other. Now, you're the mathematician. You know that it's at least a million to one shot. And Louise, I think I'm really going to find that idea. But what Curtis doesn't realize is, he may find what he's looking for, but end up losing something very special to him. Something he hadn't bargained on. And that's only the beginning of our story. Sears Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of the Sears Radio Theater. Our story, The Hamster Caper of Curtis Cleaver by Annie Caroline Schuler. Our stars, Robert Towers and Noel North. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value.
the words out and spreading fast about the jeans from Sears Men's Store that grow beautifully. It's a sure sign they're feeling fine and feeling good. For the denim that keeps going strong a long time. Get them trim cut, regular cut, even get them pre-washed. The jeans that grow old beautifully. Now at most Sears retail stores. They wear them in Alaska, in Texas, in Maine. Wherever the territory's tough, the kids wear Sears tough skins. The toughest jeans in Sears tough jeans territory. Fashioned from a permafrost tri blend fabric so tough, kids can actually jump on trampolines made from it. Sears tough skins in boys and girls sizes. Now in latest spring colors, styles, patterns. Brushed finish, too. You have tough kids, Sears has tough skins. Only in the children's store at most larger Sears retail stores and through the catalog. Sears National Automotive Sale. Dirt inside your shock absorbers can cause them to fail. Get Sears Heavy Duty Plus Shocks with a self-cleaning wiper ring. On sale now, only $7.99 each. You save 20%. Installation available. And save now on Sears SuperGuard Steel Belted Radial Tires. Steel Belted Strength, Smooth Ride, Radial Performance. Super Values too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends June 30th at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop. The shops on Main Street in Sedgley, California, supply students from nearby Snellenberg University with the necessities of college life. There's the university bookstore, the Sedgley stationery shop, the all-night pizza parlor, and coming out of the Sedgley print shop, Curtis Cleaver and Louise Ludlow. Curtis has just dropped off another edition of Snellenberg's student newsletter, of which he is the editor. Well, Snellenberg Speaks is tucked away for another week. And it was a long week. Yeah, I missed you too. Was this edition a difficult one? Is that why you've been so, so far away from me? Louise, every situation in the world doesn't always have a logical, mathematical reason. I'm sorry. Oh, I am too, Louise, really, but... Lately, I, I don't know. There, there are so many, so many things spinning around in my head. And once they come together, everything will fit into place, but until then... Oh, lonesome me. Uh, seems like the entire world's lonely lately. You know that column in Snellenberg Speaks, Dear Donald? The advice columnist? Mm -hmm. well, he's been buried under an avalanche of letters from students who come from big cities. Uh, there isn't all that much to do around the university, and they're lonely. So what does Dear Donald advise? Valley's Pet Shop. Valley's Pet Shop? Curtis, look through that window I've never seen Valley so crowded Why did dear Donald recommend it? Well, Valley's is the only pet shop for miles And he sells hamsters and parakeets and small pets like that Which the dormitory house mothers will overlook And, uh, <clears throat> Dear Donald is Mr. Valley's nephew. <laughs> but how many poor college students can afford to pay $12.99 for one hamster? $12.99? Look at the sign in the window. For a little ball of fluff? Expensive fluff, if you ask me. I wonder why Valley charges that much. Hey, I would imagine hamsters practically raise themselves. Don't eat much. Well, come on, Curtis. Our one day together is quickly dwindling away. Louise, wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. No, gone. It's right on the tip of my fingers and it's gone. Good. Good? How can you say that, Louise? All this thinking all the time, I'm doing it for us. So we'd have more time together, lots of money. Wouldn't have to slave away doing you all... You won't change your mind, will you? You don't intend on getting married until we're millionaires. Well, maybe just half a millionaires. At the rate we're going, we can celebrate getting married and getting Social Security in one grand sweep. Ah, oh, you know I want to get married very, very much, but not until we're more independent financially. And when do you think our Independence Day will happen, Curtis? Louise, I... I, I can feel it within my grasp. Think for a minute, Louise. J just look around you at all the super ideas other people have had uh, that have made it big. Look, look at the pet rock. <laughs> And how much thinking did it take to pick up a rock and put it in a box? Look, that guy was probably straining for years. Then in one golden moment, whammo. Or, or how about the saying, keep on trucking? Three little words on T-shirts, buttons, bumper stickers. They've gotten worldwide attention. Curtis, all I'm asking is your attention to three little words that are very important to me right now. 
I love you. Louise, just a couple of minutes. I, I want to go inside the pet shop and look around, huh? Please? I guess I wouldn't be so in love with you if you weren't a crazy genius. <laughs> Lead on. Sure is a good Snellenberg U turnout. Hello there. Hello there. May I help you? Oh, uh, we're just looking around. Thanks, Mr. Valley. Well, may I suggest a speciality this week? Right over here. Hamsters. So, that's a hamster. Never saw one close up. <laughs> Adorable little creatures, aren't they? They look like fat mice. Mm. Ah, you're interested in mice. Oh, well, that cage is... Oh, here, a... here, I'll take this book. All about hamsters. Very good, sir. That's five ninety-five. Ring up 631 uh, with tax. Curtis, 631 with tax? Trust me, Louise. I, I've got this feeling. It keeps coming back. I, I'm really close to something. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Well, excuse me. Well, Mr. Valley, Mr. Valley, I've got a complaint. Complaint? Uh, uh, about what? Your unfair prices. Dear Donald, advise advised me to get a little hamster to keep me company in the dorm. But I'm a student and I'm poor. Sir, I, I, I sympathize with your problem. But believe me, I'm not price gouging. You could get them cheaper direct from a breeder. But the closest is way over in Marlowe. Oh, gee, this is terrible. All I want is a little companionship. Uh, a little love. Love! Curtis, please, everyone's watching. Love, 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 Louise. It's all right here. This book is all about it. The book is about hamsters, Curtis. Love, love, love. That's what we all need. That's what we all want. Love. Curtis, I think you need some fresh air. And I'm going to get some. We're millionaires. Millionaires. Who, who, what was that? That, I'll have you know, is a world-famous million-to-one-shot millionaire. Or a crazy genius I have driven insane. Sears wants to break the ice when it comes to buying a Kenmore refrigerator. So we're taking $50 to $100 off three models through June 30th. You save $100 on the 19 cubic foot side-by-side -side and $70 on the 17 cubic foot top freezer refrigerator. Both have automatic ice makers and Sears exclusive humid drawer. Save $50 on a Kenmore 17 cubic foot refrigerator freezer without ice maker. All are frostless. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Fill up on sunshine in cool, colorful sundresses from Sears, each so different. With shoulders bare or gently draped, in flounced or freewheeling lines, with details such as ruffles, smocking, and ribbon accents, too. Each a splendid sip right out of summer, in vivid solids, glorious prints, or clever combinations you'll have to see for yourself. So soak in lots of sun, in lots of sundresses, because each sundress is a great value, too. In misses and half sizes, from Sears Dress Department. It's here! It's here! The Great American Paint Sale is here! Now, save three to five dollars on the same Sears paints that help preserve the homes of John Paul Jones, Betsy Ross, and other great American homes like yours. Save five dollars on Weatherbeater satin exterior paints, now $9.99 a gallon. Save three dollars on Easy Living flat, ceiling, and semi-gloss interior paints, $8.99 to $9.99 a gallon. The Great American Paint Sale is here! Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. By the time Louise catches up with Curtis, he's halfway up Main Street. Curtis has had a vision in Valley's pet shop, and he wants to start turning his dream into a reality. But Louise has other ideas. Curtis! Curtis! Are you all right? Guess where I'm going. Over the deep end, I give up. This is it, Louise. You've got an idea? Louise, we're going to be independently wealthy, socially secure. Well, this must be some idea. Love makes the world go round, Louise, and it's going to make us rich. Look, I'll take you home because I've got to start working on it immediately. I promise we'll have plenty of time together later. Take me home? Yeah, I have lots of organizing to do. Couldn't use my help? Well, I, I don't think you want to spend your free time. I, I know I'm the mathematician of this team, always dealing with realities, certainties, and sure things. But it's dull sometimes, you know? Always finding out in advance how something will turn out? Well, your logical mind has kept my feet on the ground when my head was in the clouds. <laughs> Many times. 
and I don't know if that was right of me or not. Curtis, your world is so topsy-turvy, upside down and totally unpredictable, but very, very exciting. So at least, for a little while, can I share your scheme with you? Uh, you want to hear about it first? I love you and I trust you. Just tell me what to do first. On our way to the first million? Well, we get a loan. But we have no collateral, Curtis. Who'll give us a loan without collateral? <laughs> Curtis. Oh, this is a great surprise. Welcome to Schumart. <laughs> How are you, son? Uh, okay, Dad. And you, Louise? Oh, just fine, Mr. Cleaver. How's the shoe business? Well, you know what they say. There's no business like, like shoe, shoe business. business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dad, uh, can we talk to you privately for a minute? Oh, sure, sure, son. Here, come on, right over here. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Um, loan us some money. Oh, sure. How much you need? Well, this is to be a loan, Dad. A, a business loan. Curtis, I'm your father. I don't loan money to my son. I give. You want a loan, go to a bank. Uh, we already did. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> How much of a business loan? Five hundred dollars. The separate checks or one tab? Uh, we need a thousand, Louise. But we shouldn't start off with such a large debt. All right, compromise. Seven hundred and fifty. Okay. Yeah. Ah, so... Uh, what business are you going into? A, a real moneymaker, an innovation in gimmicks. Uh -huh. We call it Love for Sale Enterprises. Love now, for picture, sale. picture this. An adorable little hamster, his liquid eyes staring out at you with an unspoken plea. Adopt me, love me. We call him Harlan the Hamster. He's our symbol. A uh, symbol for what? Oh, buttons, bumper stickers, T-shirts, any place we can stamp his little image. Oh. In light of the present trend in fads, we believe it to be a sound financial investment. Listen, my son is always a good investment, even when he goes bankrupt. Bankrupt? When? Uh, uh it, it was nothing, Louise. Ah, uh, let's see. First was the souffle delivery service. Uh, that fell flat. Yeah, I, I think we've heard enough, Dad. And then the chocolate perfume that, instead of attracting the opposite sex, attracted an invasion of every insect within ten miles. <laughs> oh, but my favorite was the plastic socks. Plastic socks? <laughs> Louise, I was 16. Yeah, problem started when the feet got hot. Socks melted, gluing shoes to feet. Very sticky situation. <laughs> I think we just lost our financing. Oh, nonsense, nonsense. Listen, it takes years to be an overnight success. Right, Louise? <laughs> well, <clears throat> now what are you up to this time? Hamsters, Dad. Yeah. Our pivotal product, our main draw at Love for Sale Enterprises, inexpensively priced hamsters. Uh, doesn't Valley's Pet Shop sell hamsters? Well, yes, but he has a high overhead, a store and all. We won't have so many expenses. Especially if Mrs. Cleaver will cooperate. Right. Dad, we're asking your permission to check with Mom about the attic. Uh, the, the, the attic? Uh -huh. Oh, you mean the attic on top of our house. That attic? Yes. Oh, you want my permission to talk to your mother about our attic? Exactly. Exactly. Can we ask Mom? Well, Sure. And if she figures out what you're talking about, tell her to call me. Curtis, Louise, come on in. Hi, Mom. Good seeing you again, Mrs. Cleaver. Thank you, Louise. Uh, did Dad phone? Yes. I hope he didn't try to explain. No, but he warned me about your explanation. <laughs> he said if I understand it, I definitely need professional help. It's simple, Mrs. Cleaver. We simply want to use your attic. Hmm. Well, that is simple. So why'd your father sound so strung out? Unfortunately, Mr. Cleaver heard the unedited version. Well, you're both welcome to our attic. Now, what can I do to help out? Well, we'll be breeding hamsters up there. I can't help. Why? You want to breed rats in my sparkling clean house? Oh, not rats, Mom. Hamsters. Cute little money-making hamsters. Fat mice. My first impression exactly, Mrs. Cleaver. But Curtis has a really great idea here. It's far out, but it's great. Uh, Curtis, how many cute little money makers are we talking about? Oh, about ten pair. Uh, that's twenty hamsters to start. She can to add start? Like... Well, Mom, they're not just going to sit there. They're going to breed. Well, I don't know if my weak heart can handle so much activity going on right above my head. Mom, Mom my apartment's crammed as it is, and, and Louise has a little place, too, so it's either the attic or forget the whole thing. 
We can't afford a rent. <sighs> All right. But you promised they're clean. Immaculate and odor-free. My book says so. Well, bring the little darlings over then. Uh, well, we can't yet, Mom. What's the problem now, Curtis? Well, there's one little thing we've got to do before we bring them over. Oh, and what's that? Buy them. Sears Radio Theater will continue after this message from your local station. This is Lorne Green. I'm very proud to be part of our great television and radio industry. In this country, we're very fortunate to have instant communication about everything that happens anywhere. But do you realize that it's possible only because a small group of amateur radio experimenters developed homemade transmitters about 60 years ago and began broadcasting to their neighbors? Today, the same sort of ham operators are continuing to devise better ways to communicate electronically and worldwide. Today's amateur radio operators have their own television and teletype stations, as well as relay satellites circling the globe. These men and women are an important reserve of technical talent for the nation. Their public service networks provide us with emergency communications in times of disaster. And, of course, hams are always improving our international friendships. You want to join in? Anyone, any age is welcome. Write Amateur Radio, Newington, Connecticut, 06111. Amateur Radio, in the public interest. Mystery by the Masters Edgar Allan Poe, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Robert Louis Stevenson, Guy de Maupassant You'll hear radio dramatizations of their most popular works on our CBS Radio Mystery Theater Weekend Classics I'm E.G. Marshall, your host for Mystery seven times a week on most of these stations With original radio plays Monday through Friday And on the weekends, we bring you the classics Modern adaptations of the world's greatest stories of mystery, adventure, suspense, and even humor from the pen of Mark Twain. If you've read them before and want to enjoy them again, or if they're new to you now, listen here and enjoy our radio dramatizations of the world's great literature every Saturday and Sunday on CBS Radio Mystery Theater. And of course, listen in Monday through Friday, too, for original tales of the macabre over most of these CBS Radio Network stations. Curtis and Louise are on their way to a successful business venture. They have the capital. They're having Holland the hamster posters and buttons and bumper stickers and notepads printed with Holland's cute little fuzzy face. They've even acquired a nursery for hamster breeding. The only things missing are the hamsters themselves. But Louise and Curtis are about to remedy that situation. What else does the book say about breeding, Curtis? It's so simple. Listen, the hamster gestation period is only 16 days or so. Only 16 days? Mm -hmm. Each litter is between 8 and 11 babies. They're weaned in 3 weeks, can be taken from their mothers in 5 weeks, mature in 6 to 8 weeks, and are ready to breed in 10 to 12 weeks. <sighs> simple. For the hamsters... It says here, all you've got to do is keep them fed and keep them warm. Well, let's see what Mr. Valley, the expert, says. Yes? Hey, what can I do for you? Well, we're interested in hamsters. Oh, that makes a lovely pair of hamsters. <laughs> uh, which one? Ten pair. Ten pair. <laughs> You're going into the breeding business. Uh, that obvious, huh? Well, it seems to be a popular get-rich-quick scheme. <laughs> oh, Lots of people do this? Yeah, but lots of people don't have love for sale enterprises, Louise. Uh, Mr. Valley, do these new breeders do well? Well, let's just say that the hamsters do well. They're quite, uh, <laughs> prolific, you know. Yes, but the, the breeders themselves... Well, no, they, they don't get rich quick. For one reason or another, the hamsters don't sell. <gasps> Curtis! It won't be that way for us, Louise. Remember, love for sale enterprises. Oh, keep reminding me, okay? Sure thing. Uh, Mr. Valley, I seem to have this lurid fascination for depressing information. <laughs> what are the reasons the hamsters don't sell? <laughs> you are, uh, obviously pumping me for free information. Yes. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. And buying ten pair entitles you to some helpful hints. 
Now, first, keep in mind at all times it is a business. Right. Not as easy as it sounds. You are dealing with a product that's cute, cuddly, and very appealing. No offense, Mr. Valley, but I'm not fond of hamsters. They look too much like rodents. Well, that's just because they are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rats and mice and such. I know. I like the little critters. Good for you. Now, what is the uh, young lady's job in this business you're uh, planning? The young lady's caring for the finances. Okay, okay. <laughs> then you, sir, will do the feeding and the caring for, right? Well, according to the book, it's not terribly involved. No, 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 but there are a few suggestions. Never buy large quantities of food that goes rancid and it sickens the animals. Right. And a word of caution for you and these adorable furry little balls of fluff here. This is very important. Don't name them. How's that again, Mr. Valley? Is that some kind of a superstition or something? Whoops, here are the customers. Uh, just a moment. I think I've given enough information to the competition. Uh, just wait a second till I'm finished over there, and then we'll pick out ten nice pair, and I will box them for you, okay? Sounds good. It uh, sure does. Uh, I should tell you this before you buy the hamsters, though. If this business of yours falls through... It won't. It won't, believe me. Uh, but if it does, I can't buy back the hamsters. I can't even take them for free. How come? Well, you see, I buy them from a licensed breeder with a very good reputation. And remember, if somebody buys a hamster from me and it gets sick or dies, I'm responsible. So I've got to know the breeders I'm dealing with very well. Oh, sure, we understand. Right, Louise? Sure we do. Well, I'll be right back then. Oh, Curtis, we could be stuck with over 200 hamsters. Oh, it won't be, Louise. The posters and buttons and T-shirts and bumper stickers are ready to go on sale. Anticipation runs high. The whole campus at Schnellenberg University is talking about Harlan the hamster. I've got at least 100 advance orders for them. We won't be stuck. As our financial advisor, I hope you're right. Mm, why is that? Because after this hamster purchase, we're broke. Totally. Oh, that was certainly a fast 750 I may cry. Well, we've got to spend money to make money, Louise. And when do you foresee a reversal of that trend? As soon as our 20 hamsters start doing their thing in our attic. <laughs> Curtis, you romantic devil. <laughs> <laughs> Love for Sale Enterprises, Curtis Cleaver speaking. Yes? We're taking orders for hamsters. First litter's nearly ready for sale, but most of them are reserved. Well, you may have to wait for the second litter. Do any time now. Send in a check or money order for four ninety eight. That's right, just four ninety eight. How do we sell them so cheap? Low overhead. Don't you know anything about business? It's your major, isn't it? Oh. No, I guess a football major wouldn't know much about business. Thanks for calling. Tell your friends. Any word from the nursery? We're still expecting. How's business? As bloated as the mama hamsters. <laughs> Gotta order another shipment of posters, buttons, bumper stickers, and double on t-shirts. At the school store at Snellenberg, they can't stock enough of them. It's working, Louise. It's really working. Don't shout for joy just yet, Curtis. Louise, darling, unless the pregnant mama hamsters decide not to give birth, this second litter's gonna put us in the black all the way across the board. See? Phone hasn't stopped ringing. We're a success. Oh, let me answer it, Curtis. I feel so important, so rich, when I say, love for sale, Enterprises. <gasps> Mrs. Cleaver! Oh, no. We'll be right over. Curtis, you told your mother that hamsters have no odor. Well, the book plainly states a hamster has no odor. A hamster, Curtis. A hamster. <gasps> and we've got over 200. Come on. <laughs> Mom? Oh, Curtis, just smell. Oh, but they've been here for weeks. Well, it was chilly last night, so we turned on the heat. <gasps> it's freezing. And an it? hour later, we noticed the odor and had to turn the heat off again. And the heat's been off ever since? Your father threatened to sleep at the Y, and I may join him. <gasps> the hamsters. They, they look... They look asleep. They shouldn't be, not at this time of day. Uh, hey, boys and girls, wake up. Hey, gonna have to poke you all awake? Uh-oh. Louise, they're all cold and stiff. Oh, I can't look. You gotta call the vet, gotta call... Oh, good grief. What if they're all... All... You know. 
Hamsters are only hibernating. Hibernating, Dr. Tobin? Mm hmm. Then none of them are dead? Hardly. It's been so cold in here for so long that the hamsters instinctively went into hibernation. You see, adults, babies, even the expectant mothers. Really, they're fine. Just in a deep sleep. Are they are they all right, Curtis? Yeah, Mom. Oh, then I don't feel guilty about that, at least. About what then? I'm evicting your hamsters. Oh, Mrs. Cleaver. Either that or somebody's going to leave this house permanently. Dad threatened to... No, I did. Oh, well, Louise, it's your place or mine. Not mine. I handle finances, remember? And you're the one who likes the little monsters. But we're running low on food, and tomorrow I plan to go to Valley's and buy some. You move the hamsters to your place, Curtis. Uh -huh. I've got to go downtown, so I'll pick up the extra cages we need and plenty of food. I know a place where I can get it cheaper than Valley's. Ever the financial wizard. Hey, Curtis, your apartment is certainly filled to bursting, and you're still rearranging cages? It's been two days. Well, I have a choice here, either a clear path to the kitchen or a clear path to the bathroom. Want to help me with the feeding? Did they love the food I bought? Why did you get 20 pounds? It was on sale. Only $5. Hmm, Valley charges that for five pounds. This discount place downtown How has... How can a store sell so... Louise, do those hamsters look strange to you? Curtis, I don't know hamsters, but they do look strange. And if my eyes aren't playing tricks, just a little green... <gasps> Curtis, they all look that way. And they haven't touched their food since... <sighs> since I fed them the new food yesterday. Oh, where's that food sack? Ugh. Louise, smell this food. Ugh. It's rancid. <gasps> and all of our hamsters, they're poisoned. <laughs> Sears National Automotive Sale. Dirt inside your shock absorbers can cause them to fail. Get Sears Heavy Duty Plus Shocks with a self-cleaning wiper ring. On sale now, only $7.99 each. You save 20%. Installation available. And save now on Sears SuperGuard Steel Belted Radial Tires. Steel Belted Strength, Smooth Ride, Radial Performance. Super Values too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends June 30th at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop at Sears. When is a window more than a window? When it's decorated with elegant Spindrift Semi-Sheer Panel Curtains from Sears. Sears Spindrift Semi-Shears are so natural looking. The fabric is full-bodied. The pattern texture is soft and subtle. I had to choose curtains for my new house. Spindrift Semi-Shears come in so many colors and can be used to create so many styles. They're easy to care for. Machine wash and tumble dry. Hmm, that's nice. Make your windows more than just windows with Spindrift Semi-Shear Curtains in the drapery department at larger Sears retail stores. Here they come. More values from Sears, like a $1.44 pull-on shorts and a $1.99 tank tops for women. They're colorful polyester tank tops that slip on neatly over the double-knit nylon shorts. Shorts with elastic waist and stitched front creases. Just watch them go. Sears $1.44 shorts and $1.99 tank tops for women. All set for action. Hurry in while quantities last. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. At most larger Sears retail stores. again. And here's the concluding act of The Hamster Caper of Curtis Cleaver. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's food poisoning, all right. Oh, no. Oh, I'm a murderess. No, no, no. They will be all right as long as they get no more of that uh, bargain basement food that you were giving them. That, Dr. Tober, is a promise. Good, good. Now, they need a tonic to cleanse their systems, and they need to be watched for the next 48 hours in case some of them are sicker than the others. You mean watched constantly? Yeah, yeah, if you want to ensure their good health. Look, this whole mess is my fault, so we'll move them to my place. It's close to the university, so I can drive over and back every couple of hours to check on them. Will that be all right, Dr. Tober? Yeah, well, I, yeah, I think so. But kids... Please, 
Try to make this the last move. Hamsters are many things to many people, but good travelers they're not. How goes the hamster sitting, Louise? Um, okay, I guess. I, I guess they're all okay so far. Great. Now, tomorrow morning at 10, we got a meeting with the T-shirt people about expanding to Harlem the hamster jackets, sweatsuits, hats, sneakers. Sure. Uh, see, then we meet with the poster people at 11 about printing up stationery and notebooks, and maybe pens. In the PM, button people want to talk to us about kites and skateboards. And a graduate art student at Snellenberg wants to do a cartoon strip called Harlem the Hamster. He's got connections, so it's worth the time. Oh, sounds terrific. Yeah, the way business is expanding will... Anything wrong? Uh, no. In fact, we've been getting calls from radio and TV people about interviews. Magazines, too. Wow, we're really taking off. Our products are selling as far north as San Francisco and as far east as Tucson. Why, some of our people figure we should plan on going national. Eve's been in labor all morning. Eve? Uh, we know an Eve? I didn't see any name tags on the cages, so I named some of them. Just my favorite ones. Let's see, there's Adam and Eve and Romeo and wait, Juliet. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, Louise, we seem to have a problem here. It, is this the hamster hater I'm in love with? Louise? I never hated them, Curtis. And they do grow on you. They didn't grow on me. I mean, it is a business. Uh, excuse me, Curtis. Well, where are you going? Well, we haven't finished our conversation. Uh, to check the nursery. Be right back. Great. Just great. And she was the stable member of our team. <laughs> oh, Curtis. Curtis. Juliet's had nine babies, and Eve's had 11. What? What? That's 498 times 20? Curtis, they're just babies. Don't be so cold-hearted. We're in business, Louise. Now, let's see. Since the second litter's arriving, we can get rid of the first. I'll advertise in the next Snellenberg Speaks that everyone who ordered a Love for Sale hamster can stop by and pick it up. But, but the special Harlan the Hamster carrying cases haven't come in yet. Well, I'll get some regular boxes for my dad at Schumart. Kids over at school are so eager they won't care. They just want their hamsters. I'll bring the boxes well, over so, here. So soon? And... Yes, Louise, yes. Now we finally start raking in the dough. At last, monetary return. And let me tell you, those college students are going to be thrilled when they finally have little furry pets to love. Louise, love for sale is a reality. <laughs> I don't understand why all you students are so upset. Myron, are you the spokesperson? Yes, I'm. Yes, I'm. Sh uh, let me. Let me talk. We. We. We all d d decided to to stop by your office to settle something. Now, w where are the hamsters th that we paid for? Well, like the announcement said in Snellenberg Speaks at 5211 Orkney on the front porch. Now, Louise Ludlow, my partner, is there, and she'll no, just... We, no, no, we have just come from 5211 Orkney, and there is nobody there. Yeah, we didn't find nothing. Right, no, no hamsters either, just those shoe boxes. The hamsters are in the boxes. The only thing in the boxes are these big holes. Oh, Good grief. The hamsters gnawed themselves out of the boxes. Oh. Why didn't Louise stop them? Well, we got to find... Oh, come on, gang. Now, let, let's round up our pets. They, they must be roaming all over the streets of Sedgley. Come on, Harriet. And, Mr. Cleaver, we better find them. Or else. Come yeah, on, gang. Well. You, you will. And I'll find Louise. <laughs> You in there? Louise? I know you're in there, Louise. I'm using my key. Louise? I yes, Curtis? Why are all the lights out? I'm a, a fugitive from justice. Well, I'm turning on the lights. Oh, no. Louise, you really are a fugitive. <sighs> Curtis... I couldn't do it. I couldn't willingly hand these darling hamsters over to careless college clods who'd feed them 
cold pizza and beer. Oh, Louise. Louise, Louise, Louise. <laughs> You've gone maternal on me. You've gone maternal on 200 hamsters. You've, you've uh, just... 225. 225. We'll go and counting. Oh, I've bankrupted the company. No, you haven't. You know better than that. The way sales are going and all the other items, we don't need to sell hamsters to turn a profit. Oh, we don't? Of course not. But, Louise, face it. We cannot keep 225 pets. Oh, 226. Uh. Oh, don't answer it. It's been ringing for hours. Time to pay our debt to society, Louise. Love for Sale Enterprises. Hello? Dear Donald who? Oh, yeah, Dear Donald from the newsletter. How are you? Oh, he does? Sure, send him right over. We'll talk to him. Bye. That was Dear Donald. His uncle, Mr. Valley, wants to talk to us. He's coming right over. I guess he's starting to feel the competition. I don't see how. Once he gets a look at our hamster population, he'll know we're not stealing away his hamster business. We haven't unloaded one of these little dickens. Maybe he's angry that we're underpricing him. Hey. Louise, hold up there. Listen, listen, listen to us. Did you just hear us? What? Don't you hear it? We're talking like business partners. Yeah, so? What did we start out as? Well... Hmm? Um... What? Louise, has it been so long ago? We started out as lovers. Lovers? Yeah. Louise, we found a one-in-a-million dream, but we lost something much more precious. Each other. Oh, Curtis. I'll get it. Well, hello, Curtis. Louise. You want to know something? You two have become real celebrities. And you're doing very, very well. Look at the lovely hamsters you're breeding. Hey, this one's a real winner. <laughs> oh, that's one of Adam and Eve's babies. <laughs> oh, no. You did it. You named them. Just, just a favorite few. And uh, that's what you warned us about, isn't it? You give something a name, an identity. It's no longer business. It's personal. You can't give a friend away. That's what we're finding out. I've come with a proposition that may help you resolve your problems. You see, uh, <laughs> I would like to uh, buy into your business. <laughs> I've got some money tucked away, and I you, thought... You, you want to buy in with us? Curtis, in case this fact has escaped you, I will uh, fill you in. Your love for sale gimmick, along with Harlan the Hamster, is the moneymaker of all time. You are unaware of this, but I have been keeping tabs on you and your business. You are going the distance, my boy. Right up through the clouds to a million bucks. And past that, even. Wow. This is something. <laughs> Why, with your creative genius and my connections, <laughs> we can be set for life. But uh, do you want to take on a partner? Do we want a partner? Do we want a partner? <laughs> yes, we want a partner. So, it's okay, Louise? Curtis, I just want it to be like it was before with us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Mr. Valley. You got a deal, if you agree to our demands. Demand away. Well, first, I have complete creative control over all new products. We won't tamper you with success or genius. Second, uh, Louise keeps control of the bookkeeping. You'll have access to the records, but Louise handles the money. She's a financial wizard. That's agreed. Okay, and third... We both have a vote in all new love for sale ventures. You got it. Then you've got a deal, Mr. Valley. Terrific! And, uh, we need a favor. Name it. Take our hamsters. <laughs> all of them? Except for Adam and Eve and Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll and... keep several. But, but, but... Yeah, well, most have been purchased. You just have to be paid for it and picked up. Well, that's, that's marvelous. <laughs> that's very good. Oh, and, uh, Mr. Valley... Since you're getting so many quality hamsters, maybe you could lower your prices so other deserving college students can afford them. Why, certainly. I'll even expand my shop to accommodate them. And all the love for sale items I'll soon be stocking. Partner, <laughs> see you later. Oh. 
alone at last. Oh, alone at last. <laughs> yeah, well, almost. I think we can keep two sets of hamsters and maybe several... Oh, uh, no more business talk, Curtis? Uh, just one more item. As creative genius, I ask you, the financial wizard, to write a check. Yes, sir. The check will be made out to... Us. From? Us. Amount? Oh, a couple of thou. Wow, what for? A hasty elopement and a long honeymoon. Oh, Curtis, you mean it? What, when's the date? Independence Day. But not for a long time. It's next week. Curtis, Independence Day is I not... I beg to differ, Louise. Our Independence Day is any day we want it to be, right? Now that we're almost millionaires... <laughs> yeah, so by the time we wrap up business, when can we be ready? Ah, at the latest, tomorrow. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> It's here! It's here! The Great American Paint Sale is here! Now, save three to five dollars on the same Sears paints that help preserve the homes of John Paul Jones, Betsy Ross, and other great American homes like yours. Save five dollars on Weatherbeater satin exterior paints, now nine ninety nine a gallon. Save three dollars on Easy Living flat, ceiling, and semi gloss interior paints, eight ninety nine to nine ninety nine a gallon. The Great American Paint Sale is here! Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Honey, I can't sleep. Maybe you should try counting sheets. You mean sheep? No, Medley Sheets from Sears in so many great colors from light to dark. Rest easy knowing your bed looks fantastic because Medley Solids come in up to 24 colors like Indian Copper, Royal Blue, Lemon Yellow, and Jungle Green. But don't just count them. Mix and match them with Medley Pattern Sheets and Cases for a designer effect. Then dream in color tonight. Available at most larger Sears retail stores in the catalog. Sears, where America shops, invites you to apply for the Sears credit card. It gives you credit in over 3,600 Sears stores coast to coast. Whether you live or travel in any of the 50 states, there's a Sears store where you can shop for what you need for your family, home, or car. You can apply for the Sears credit card at any Sears store or by calling this toll-free number now. Call 800-526-0444. That's 800-526-0444. New Jersey residents call 800-652-2777. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. The Hamster Caper of Curtis Cleaver was written by Annie Caroline Schuler, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your hostess was Cicely Tyson. Our stars were Robert Towers and Noel North. Featured in the cast were Dawes Butler, Lillian Bayef, Jack Crucian, and Lou Horn. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. Where do we stand in the cancer fight? I'm Kirk Douglas, and in my work as an American Cancer Society volunteer, I've learned that we're saving cancer patients who might have been lost only a few years ago. These additional lives have been saved because of advances in research. And it's particularly gratifying to know that some of our greatest strides are being made against the kinds of cancer that strike children and young adults. This is not to say that we're close to conquering cancer, but we do have the knowledge to save one out of two cancer patients if the disease is detected and treated in time. And each year we're able to save more and more patients. As one leading scientist said, I believe there's an end to the road and I'm confident that we're going to get there. Help us get there. Please give generously when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. You've changed, Bernard. You're not the man I married. What do you mean, Francine? Remember the way you were, vulnerable. You made mistakes. 
But now look, you're confident. Everything you do turns out right. It's that book you sent away for. It's just a catalog mm. from the Consumer Information Center. It lists more than 200 federal publications you can send for on building, fixing, eating, buying, selling, working, playing, living. And more than half of them are free. Yes, Francine, the man you married is gone for good. Mm. All right, Bernard. But would you make just one more mistake for old time's sake? All right. For you, oh. I'll just replace that window glass like I used to. Whatever you do, learn to do it better. Send for your free catalog. Just write Consumer Catalog, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Francine, send for that publication on first aid. What was that address? Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Tomorrow's Sears Radio Theater will be a story of adventure with Howard Duff as your host. Let's listen. Holly. Please, take it easy. I can't keep up. I'm a great deal older than you are. Yes, you are. But then I'm a great deal younger than you are, so it all balances out. You see that valley ahead of us? Yes, I'm not blind. I'm just tired. So be sure and tune in tomorrow to the Sears Radio Theater.